when you look at Playboy or you look at pretty much any kind of mainstream pornography, it's just miles of hairless skin, of just like miles of it. I mean, this the smoothness. We're so obsessed with that now that there's almost no trace of um, of the fact that people are like animals, like that they exist in nature. I mean, you can't have any hair and the breasts need to be, you know, erect. I mean, they need to be hard and high and fake. And the and your and your genitals have to be waxed in this way that looks nothing like I mean has no relationship to nature. It's so it I think that's so interesting how how far we want to look from the natural and that and that expresses our idea that like the natural is anti-sexual, which is so funny. I mean, because you know the 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 species right depends on this natural drive to have sex, and it's like, but if you don't make yourself look unnatural, you're somehow asexual. I think that's so funny. Women always used to say, you know, that that models were this unrealistic model for what women should look like because they were, you know, they were women who were sort of this, I don't know, 1%, 5%, this tiny little percentage of the female population, (coughs) excuse me, who happened to be born tall and, you know, willowy and, and angular and small featured and, you know, beautiful in this one way. But now it's like we have standards of beauty that aren't even found in nature. It's there. It's not like there's 10% of the population who look this way. It's like we're supposed to have breasts that look like fake breasts. So it's not even a rare woman we're looking up to. It's a creation. You know, it's, I mean, it's like science fiction in that way. <laughs>